welcome back to qtp interview questions dot blogs for did dot in in this uh, blog you will get to see all kind of qtp interview questions uh, that are asked in different kind of uh, it companies now in this tutorial what we are going to see is uh, how to design a recovery scenario for qtp now recovery scenarios in qtp are used uh, to fa handle the exceptions in qtp for example if your execution is going on and uh, some notepads or uh, some pop-up windows are coming on your uh, application and then that uh, may hamper the execution so to ensure that smooth execution happens we need to handle those pop-ups so that we will have unattended execution of the uh, test cases now how we can add recovery scenario in quick test professional is that you go to the resources and go to the recovery scenario manager in recovery scenario manager you will get to see here uh, this option click that then it will uh, get you to the recovery scenario wizard now recovery scenario wizard is allows you to uh, create the inter uh, this recovery scenario interactively now there are four steps uh, to uh, create any kind of recovery scenario define trigger event that is first step now step two this specify the recovery operations required to continue third step is choose a post recovery test or an operation and uh, last step is enter descriptive information about the scenario now we are going to see each every step about it about how to uh, design that step now uh, click on next here it is asking for what kind of event you want to handle now there are four events pop-up window object state test run error and application crash now pop-up window if uh, you want to handle pop-up window select pop-up window if you want to handle object state change you can uh, select this if you want to handle any test run error select this and if you want to handle application crash select this now in our recovery center what we are going to do handle is pop-up window so I will select pop-up window and click on next here it is asking for what kind of window we want to handle now I'm going to handle the untitled that is a notepad window so I want to I like to spy that window just click on this hand button and click on notepad so it has taken all uh, the window title as untitled notepad so it will handle all kind of untitled notepad windows and it will close those windows now I'm going to select the next operation so here it is asking for what kind of recovery operation you want to perform so I'll click on next so uh, here you can select any kind of operation like you want to call function or you want to close plus application process or you want to restart Microsoft Windows or you want to uh, perform any keyboard or mouse operation now uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to call a function so it is asking me for the function library so I'll select say library one dot qfl I'll define one new function here that is close notepad then next function name is already invalid or already exists so this function is already existing here so I will select from here only close notepad and go to the next it's asking if you want to add another recovery scenario operation so uncheck it because uh, we do not want to add any other recovery scenario right now click next then it is asking what to do after the uh, recovery is done so I will uh, say proceed to the next step and then click on next and asking for the scenario name I will uh, write here closing notepad and click next it is asking whether you want to add this scenario to the current test click yes and then finish and then save this now the scenario we have uh, just created need to be saved in QRS file so here is the here is when this QRS file comes into the picture so close notepad so close it and then save this now before I want to uh, inform you that before I want to uh, 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 execute this program let me tell you that recovery scenarios are launched only when the object error comes 
like normal vbscript statements like uh, assigning the uh, values to a particular variable at this kind of steps uh, the recovery scenario is not uh, active so this recovery scenario is activated only when the object error occurs now we have attached the uh, recovery scenario to the uh, test now i will show you how the recovery scenario is triggered in this uh, script what i have done is i have written one wait statement and then uh, i have written one window uh, dot close statement and then wait fine now when i start the execution i will open some uh, notepad windows so after this statement all the windows will be closed so i'll run this program and at the same time i am opening some uh, notepad windows so one open notepad window 1 2 3 4 5 now it will wait for 10 seconds then again it will be for 20 seconds uh, that is default synchronization timeout for any object that could be waits for and after exactly 30 seconds it will close all notepad windows that have been opened so here it is uh, closed all notepad windows you can also uh, see this in the uh, log of the quick test professional it is closed five notepad windows so this is how qtp uh, recovery scenario works for more uh, tutorials and videos you can uh, log on to qtp in uh, interview questions dot blogspot dot in i will again uh, rename it qtp dash interview dash questions dot blogspot dot in here you can find all kind of qtp videos and interview questions thanks